that's the biggest thing. Learn from it. You know, all my content, I hope that people learn from it. I hope, I, I, you know, that's that's my number one goal is I hope people learn from it. Whether it's a, it's learn how to treat people, right? Or learn um, not to judge people, right? Or learn how to interact with people. Learn a little bit more about addiction. That's, that's the bottom line. I, I want this channel to be, um, you know, a, a form of education. What's up, everybody? Hopefully, everybody having a great day and uh, doing well. So, this video you're about to see, I drove past and seen this young brother. Whenever I see that, I automatically, you know, it, it pulls at my heartstrings, and I think anybody who sees that would also feel the same, right? Um, because you know, so that, that person, when they're like that, you know, they're vulnerable, you know, um, that's not something they would do. And then the more you get to see the video, Right, you can see that the man is in physical pain. His face is twisted up in agony and pain. Um, so it's sad to watch. You know, he's throwing himself on the floor. He's rolling on the floor. He's, you know, messing around in a puddle. It's it's extremely sad to watch. And then you also have to watch out. And it's so sad, but it's just the way it is. Um, people will prey on him. People will come, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll beat them up. You know, the young boys out there will beat them up, plain and simple. Um, you know, they'll do stuff to them, throw stuff on them, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's sad. And especially, I seen he was a young guy. He, he was, he was a handsome young man. You could tell he had a nice sweatsuit on, he had nice sneakers on, he just had his hair cut, he was groomed well. So he wasn't homeless, you know, um, and not to say that if he was homeless it would be okay or anything like that, no. But the, the reason why I, I make that analogy or that connection, right, is to say that he probably left this house this morning thinking, all right, I'm gonna sneak out, get high real quick, go back home, not knowing that it was just gonna be a bad day for him. Be a bad day for him.
wouldn't allow me to, right? And I, I just tried to stress to him. I said, look, it's all right. I know what you're going through. I've been there um, to try to let him know that I, you know, I, it's all right to let me to help him because it, it was like a pride thing at first. But he was like, no, just give me a break. Just give me a brief minute, please. You know, and so I, I tried. I said, look, I know what you're going through. It's all right. Just allow me to help you so you can help yourself. I said, but you, you, you're not going to be able to pull your sh your pants over your over your uh, sneakers by yourself. And then they were wet, so that made it even harder. You know? So that's his underpants. Yeah, yeah, I see. He has his pants, but they're stuck around Not his, his shoes, shoes, so he's not going to get up. You see him hopping like he can't yeah. even walk. nothing funny about that video or about this situation you know um, it's a sad situation you know hopefully he made it home safely at the end of the day um, you know and that type of stuff goes on and people will ask Frank what what drug is that why is that happening okay so there's a there's a couple things it could be it could be it could be straight up fat and all that he just had a, a bad reaction because listen you don't know what's in those drugs the people that are selling them to you don't know what's in those drugs right and it could be meth or it could be k2 so there's no you know there's no like 100 percent you could say this is what it is um
little gray, but you could tell he's... Oh, is it gray? I thought it was dyed, like, blonde. Well, it might be. Yeah, it is, matter of fact, because look at this. So, the base of it. Like, yeah, he's, like, he's like, put to get home. Well, he's probably washing his hands up because they were all full of, like, dirt and dust. He has no idea at all what he's doing. It's like, it's like he's fighting with two different people inside yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it's like. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's, that's what he's doing. He's fighting with.
crazy thing is, is, you know, there was police that passed um, while I was out there with them. You know, the police don't do anything. A lot of people might think, oh, you could just call the ambulance. Ambulance isn't going to do anything. Y'all seen in that other overdose video? Listen, it's crazy, but 
if there's somebody overdosing and we want to get a response medically, we have to say, we, we have to lie, right? We got to sort of like trick the ambulance and the police to showing up. We got to say, yo, there's a guy on the floor. I think somebody did something to him. That's, it's just a fact. That's what you have to say. You can't say, oh, I think it's a possible overdose. That ambulance is going to take three times as long. I'm 100% I'm telling you the truth. Um, matter of fact, baby, if the time, you know, if, if opportunity presents itself, I'll do like a, a, like a test. You know what I mean? And I'll call with real situations and say it's an overdose. And then I'll call and say, yo, somebody's laying on the floor here. Somebody, it looks like somebody did something to them. And you'll see how quick they show up. And I know because I've, I've done it myself. I've called for overdose calls, 20 minutes, and I've called and said, yo, somebody just did something to this person. They're there a lot faster, sad. But, you know, watch this video, learn from it. Um, and, and that's the biggest thing, learn from it. You know, all my content, I hope that people learn from it. I hope, I, I, you know, that's that's my number one goal is I hope people learn from it, whether it's it, it's learn how to treat people, right? Or learn um, not to judge people, right? Or learn how to interact with people, learn a little bit more about addiction. That's, that's the bottom line. I, I want this channel to be, um, you know, a, a form of education, right? And it doesn't have to be you know, form of education like book smarts. It could just be, damn, now I hear their stories and now I know how to treat somebody. Now I empathize with them, I sympathize with them. You know, that type of stuff. Because there's so many more uh, forms of education that supersede book smarts. You know, the way we treat people is way more important. You know, the way we treat ourselves, the way we respect others, the way we respect our community, you know, all that stuff. So... Um, thank you. I th thank you for watching. And um, if if there's anything you think maybe I should have done differently or tried, please drop it in the comments and let me know. I'm never above, you know, being educated myself or, or looking at things from another perspective. Um, because that's something I, I encounter every single time I'm out there. Every single time. So I thank you guys. Remember to be kind, loving, and patient. And um, stay blessed, y'all. Have a great New Year. Make this one count, man. If there's anything you didn't do in the last one or you did in the last one that you wish you would have done differently, make this one count. Fresh slate, fresh page. All right, y'all.